Luke, in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 10, verses 25 through 37, tells an interesting interaction that Jesus had with the religious leaders of his day. One of them asked Jesus, What must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus' response was to share the two greatest commandments. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength, and with all your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. The religious leader wanted to feel good about himself and asked, Who is my neighbor? It was in answer to this that Jesus told the parable of the Good Samaritan. Do you remember this parable? A Jewish man was traveling and was beaten and robbed. He was left on the side of the road, half dead. A priest went by. He saw the man there and went by on the other side of the road. A temple leader also saw the man, and he too went by on the other side of the road. After that, a Samaritan came along, and the Jews and Samaritans didn't get along. But this Samaritan took pity on the Jewish man. He stopped, bandaged the man's wounds, transported him to help. He told those who would care for the man that he would pay whatever expenses were incurred in the care of this man. After telling this story, Jesus asked the religious leader, which of these men do you think was a neighbor? The answer, of course, was a Samaritan man. And Jesus told him to go and do likewise. I share this story because we have a chance to be neighbors and to go and do likewise. Calvary Baptist Church has started a ministry that helps single parents in Warwick who have lost their jobs because of COVID-19. Put yourself in their shoes. No income, bills piling up, high stress, and caring for children with all of that stress. For many of them, survival is a struggle in the good times. Without a job now, it seems hopeless and overwhelming. And here's a way that we can help children by helping their parents. And there are many ways you can help with this. If you know of a single parent who has lost their job, please let us know. Contact the church or one of the deacons. Please leave a message with a callback number so we can get the information that we will need. And email works well also. You know, can also give to help. But please make note that if you give to make note that that gift is to help single parents. Our church, for those of you who are part of our church, have scheduled a congregational meeting without actually meeting because of the virus so that we can transfer funds to help with this. And if you were a member, please be a part of this. You should have already received some information about this and more will be coming. But you can also ask others to join us in this, this desire to help families. Businesses, neighbors, family, other churches, all can be asked to help because the more we raise, the more we will be able to help. But all of us can pray that God allows us to show his love and his concern to the people that need to see it the most. It can be hard to see that God cares when the struggles are so difficult. And we want to see God glorified through this. We desire to meet as many needs for as many people as we can. The more help we get, the more help we can give. We all have an opportunity to show our love for God and to be good neighbors. As Jesus said, go and do likewise. Let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, thank you that you have done so much for each of us and thank you that you give us the opportunity to share what you've given with us to others, to share the love that you have poured out on us, to share the grace that you have shown us. Lord, we ask that you would help us to represent you well so that you receive the glory that you deserve. In Jesus' name, amen.